Today I want to talk about how many are speculating that Ken Griffin himself is protecting Sam Bankman Freed and the FTX synthetic tokenized shares. I want to talk about how Ken could be brought into the SBF trial and how Kenny G may actually end up in jail. So stay tuned and let's make some money. And now I want to dive straight in with the key information. So, Crystal Ball tweeted saying, I think the public needs to know who the guarantors are for the SBF bail. He said it's important to know who all of his associates are. For investor protection and confidence in crypto investing, we need to know who else is backing this scammer. So you may have seen this article from Bloomberg headed Sam Bankman Freed asked the judge to keep his bail guarantors a secret, even though Sam pled not guilty to the crimes he was charged with. He's held his hands up and said, guys, I haven't committed any crimes, but you need to keep my guarantors a secret. It said lawyers for Bankman Freed on Tuesday filed a letter seeking redactions of the names of two people who intend to sign on as sureties to his $250 million bail package, saying there is no need for public disclosure. It said a judge granted Bankman Freed a $250 million bail package in December, one of the largest in US history. The personal recognizance bond was secured by the equity in his parents' home in Palo Alto, California, which is almost certainly not worth anywhere near that amount. That basically means there's two very wealthy individuals that have co-signed on Sam Bankman Freed's bonds who aren't his parents. His parents are fairly regular working class Americans and therefore do not have $250 million of equity or even 10% of that amount being $25 million of equity. And therefore many are speculating who is actually co-signing this bail. Is it Kevin O'Leary? Is it Maxine Waters herself? Or is it potentially Ken Griffin? G-Man Crypto added saying that Brett Harrison from Citadel and FTX created fake GameStop and AMC tokenized shares to short GameStop and AMC. Now, obviously, this is something I touched on in a video a few days ago, but I think it's really interesting to also see the GameStop crowd completely supporting the idea of tokenized securities being used to synthetically short AMC and GameStop. He said these illegal tokens had zero cost to borrow, zero locate, and were never backed by real shares, which was only found out after the fact. The reason why these tokens could be used to synthetically short AMC is because they were supposedly backed one to one, these market makers could use these tokenized shares as false locates. Because technically the market makers were arguing that they were real locates because they were really backed one to one with real shares. It was obviously only after the collapse of FTX that we found out they weren't backed one to one and therefore these real locates were actually false locates and creating synthetic shares the entire time. And since Citadel can no longer use these tokens, the cost to borrow on GameStop has spiked over 20%, and the cost to borrow on AMC has spiked over 130%. Now, the reason why it could be Ken Griffin himself and Citadel posting the bail for Sam Bankman Freed is because Ken Griffin actually has a lot of ties to SBF. Obviously, Brett Harrison used to work at Citadel and then worked at FTX, creating those tokenized shares. Brett Harrison was obviously very senior at Citadel and worked very closely with Ken Griffin. He was also even more senior at FTX and worked directly with SBF. And therefore, it's very likely there are links between the creation of these tokenized stocks at FTX and the creation of synthetic shares over at Citadel. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to sign up to Moomoo. They don't engage in payment for order flow. They're very easy to use. It's very customizable. They've got tons of technical indicators and it's entirely commission-free trading. Right now, you can currently get 15 free stocks when you sign up worth up to $2,000 each. And for the holiday period, they're currently holding a $60,000 giveaway sweepstake. All you have to do is sign up using the link in the description below. Now, on top of that, you may have seen the US Department of Justice is preparing to seize the $465 million of Robin Hood shares that are held by Sam Bankman Freed. Now, obviously, Robin Hood was founded and is owned by Vlad Tenev, who also has some very interesting links to Ken Griffin himself. And Pip and Sammy tweeted saying Robin Hood links to Ken Griffin and Citadel. And think back, the entire Robin Hood IPO was a scam too and an absolute disaster after running to $70 and then crashing to below $10 per share. He said, I wonder how Sam Bankman Freed at FTX, Vlad Tenev at Robin Hood, and Ken Griffin are all frangled together with all of that monkey business, hiding FTDs and such of AMC and other meme stocks like GameStop and turning off the buy button. They said if the Department of Justice is linking Robin Hood to the FTX bankruptcy, it could tie into a RICO investigation down the road, potentially with Vlad Tenev or Sam Bankman Freed ratting out Ken Griffin. Both Vlad and Kenny could end up being pulled into the SBF trial, which would be an absolute disaster for them, but actually brilliant for us. 
if Sam Bankman fried does have to explain how the tokenized shares came to be and why they weren't backed one to one and who he created them for, it seems like it's game over for both Ken Griffin and Vlad Tenev as well. Now you may be saying, but Tom, how exactly does SBF tie in with Ken Griffin and with Vlad Tenev? How exactly will they be pulled into the investigation? How exactly are the courts going to start talking about tokenized securities and when will Vlad and Kenny be called in to testify? Well, part of the push on regulations and part of what Sam Bankman fried is being examined for is the legal uncertainties related to custody practices, redemptions and ownership rights, some of which are currently the subject of legal processes and proceedings. The SEC is already concerned with the ownership rights and the custody practices of many cryptocurrencies and stocks being used as tokenized securities. Therefore, they are going to be asking Sam and quizzing him on the FTX custody practices and ownership rights of their crypto and tokenized stocks, aka asking him were those tokenized stocks ever backed one to one with real shares. At which point he'll have to say, no, your honor, I was asked to create these tokenized stocks by Ken Griffin himself, and he told me that CM Equity probably held some kind of AMC shares, probably on a one-to-one -one basis. And I personally think that is exactly how both Ken Griffin and Vlad Tenev will be brought in to the FTX case. But obviously there's also many others that are thinking that it was Ken Griffin himself who signed as the guarantor for the SBF bail. Something else I found absolutely crazy is that somebody actually knew that FTX were using these tokenized stocks to create synthetic shares all the way back in January of 2021. 741 trade tweeted saying somebody get this guy a medal if he's yet to return from the future. So you may have seen that FTX official created the GameStop and AMC tokenized stocks back on January 27th, 2021. And Dusk replied saying just to check, you guys aren't planning on tokenizing these stocks and creating a swap on GameStop and AMC, right? Which is crazy because that is exactly what has been happening since 2021 and 2022, but it's only been recently discovered. But it seems like Dusk is apparently from the future and knew about this the entire time. Now it's crazy how this AMC and GameStop journey started nearly two years ago, but believe it or not there was some of us that had these ideas about tokenized securities from the very start. But on the flip side I'm sure there's also other ways that these hedge funds have been kicking the can that we still haven't discovered yet nearly two years on. That is personally why I love making these videos each and every day because every single day there is always something new that is being discovered. There's always something new that adds to the play, whether it's a recent development in AMC news or something that's recently been discovered that was previously hidden before. And it's also why I will continue making these videos on AMC and the developments of the AMC squeeze. Now you may have seen the stock market is continuing its crash with news of more tech layoffs. The Cabessi letter tweeted saying just in, Salesforce is to lay off 10% of its workforce and reduce office space in an effort to cut costs. He said the mass layoffs in tech have now well surpassed the 2001 levels. On top of that, we're also seeing Amazon laying off 18,000 workers, 70% more than initially expected. And that's now brought the total that FANG stocks have lost to more than $3 trillion in 2022. Obviously, FANG consists of Facebook or Meta, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Alphabet, aka Google. That's obviously $3 trillion worth of security that many of these hedge funds and market makers have lost over the last year. That's obviously brought them closer and closer to margin calls during the year, especially at a time when the AMC cost to borrow is skyrocketing as well. I imagine that right now these hedge funds are hanging on by the skin of their teeth, especially as the S&P 500 is likely to continue falling over the next few weeks. But guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.